if, as there seems to be a head of steam behind what's called Norway Plus, in other words, the Norwegian situation with the customs union added in, or we not being a member of the customs union, would that kind of EEA Brexit, would that uh, preserve the result, honour the result of the referendum? No, certainly not. Um, the EEA means that you are accepting of the acquis, that you are accepting That's the, the European law, the European law. Uh, You're accepting the four freedoms. You're paying into the budget, not just for different projects that you want to participate in. And <coughs> you would still be subject to the European Court of Justice. <coughs> now, many people voted for many different reasons, but what we can be sure of is. That most people voted for at least one or so other. So you of would those not vote reasons. for Norway Plus. Um, I, I don't think that would respect the referendum result. What Labour has tried to do is to respect the referendum result, but to minimise the damage to our economy, to jobs, to rights and standards. Liz Kendall, if you can't get your second referendum, what about Norway Plus? Would you uh, be happy or be prepared to go down that road? I think there's problems with it. Uh, as Barry said, you know, we have to abide by all the rules and have none of the say. But I, I wouldn't rule it out because the, the, the biggest threat that we have to avoid is uh, a no-deal Brexit. So I, I wouldn't rule that out.